Oh, jeez. I am so late. I have got to get where I have got to go. Let me get in this faithful truck that always runs and go where I need to go. Hi, I'm James, and today we're going to replace the starter on this 1994 Dodge Ram 3500 truck. Uh, this has the 12 valve Cummins diesel engine. Uh, it just so happens to have the 5 speed ND 4500 transmission, but that really doesn't apply too, too much because the procedure is going to be very similar with an automatic transmission. So let's, uh, let's dive on in and get it done, and we'll see. You're going to unhook the battery, but. You gotta keep something in mind here. Batteries are sneaky. Because, uh, he might think, ah, I got the battery unhooked. Wrong! He got a buddy he just called over there. So now you gotta deal with him and his buddy over here. I'm not the shortest guy in the world, but one thing you will notice when you start working on trucks is like when something's way down there, um, you're literally gonna have to like start crawling on stuff. So uh, you have to get in some compromising looking positions um, that hopefully your neighbor's not watching you and taking pictures and making funny uh, Photoshop memes of you, but uh, you're gonna have to get all the way down to here. Let's, uh, let's get down there and undo the cables first, and then we'll take care of the, uh, the big mounting bolts after that. They all float down here. Come on in. <laughs> all right, well, let's go under here. That guy seemed pretty friendly. Alright, so our current task at hand is getting involved, taking this plastic cover down, getting it up out the way, getting the big terminal cable off, as well as our signal wire. So let's get this took off now. Alright, now that we're sure that we got our batteries disconnected, first we want to unhook our big mamma jamma good lord i wanted to get a socket maybe i've got the right stuff this time all right let's see we need the big good lord oh my gosh there we go i think yeah Ooh. That was slightly a challenge. It appears to be pretty small. I don't think I have that with me. Yeah. Go get more tools. Alright. Alright, guys. I think I'm fairly almost positive I've got what it takes to get it off. Well, crap. We can do this. I think we can get it done. Except, no, we are not getting it done. That's some term that the new children use these days, is swag. It means pretty hip, or exponentially great. Fuck off, old man. All right, now we start taking this 
other junk loose. We're going to try to use a wrench on this one. A little help from my friends. You see that? That was an old man trick right there. Doubling your wrench. Good way to bang knuckles really hard into stuff. And then you learn new swear words. Ah. Ape Tor didn't put that one on. So I was able to get it loose right off the bat. Alright, now I've got both of these out. However, I'm actually going to stick this one back in a few turns by hand because when we get this top bolt out, this thing's going to want to fall down this way. And of course, I got to take it in and out here. So I'm going to use that to where I can hold up on it and finish pulling that bolt out. And it's going to keep it from hopefully falling on my face and busting up my beautiful looks that I've got. So. Let's uh let's head up top and see if we can get that stupid bolt up there. I can almost get to it. Oh man, you guys got in my way. Told you not to get in my way. Oh come on now. This is like a bad carnival game. Awesome. Alright, so now we've got the whole thing loose, but we get it kind of supported by that one bolt, so it's keeping it from falling into our mouth, busting all of our teeth out. You gotta kind of finagle it around a little bit. One thing you want to do before you jam the new starter in there is just kind of go up here and check all your flywheel teeth, especially with the sound this one was making. You know, we want to make sure there's not a, uh, you know, a problem where there's a bunch of teeth knocked off of it or anything like that. So everything looks pretty normal in here. So. I went on a quest, a journey, a car quest. Ha! Huh. I trust that y'all can handle putting the bolts back in there. Remember, there's three. Kind of a pain getting out of there, I ain't gonna lie. So, I really don't want to film me putting them back in, but I'll show you when it's all done. Deal? Alright, cool. Ah, uh, si. Uh, uno cerveza, botilla, dos X, por favor. Ah, gracias. Ah. Magnifico. Wow! Oh, sorry. Boy, what would I do for a Klondike bar right now? Woo! I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably try to put this bolt in. Can I have a Klondike bar after that? No? Oh, damn. It is, uh, it is my best belief that I have it started correctly. That was the point we uh, put the ratchet on it and just run it in like we're angry. I hope it goes in straight. Smooth like your mom's legs when I come over to visit her. That was vulgar, James. Jesus Christ, don't say that. Sorry. Gah! There's a certain spec that we're reaching for. It's a German spec. It's called Guten Type. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Click. Properly torqued. Guten Type. All right. Now we got another thing here. Um, as we're putting this guy on, it looks just like the other one. Um, however, remember when we took this guy loose? Let's see if you can see here. We had a little stud 
It was on the signal wire here, along with the bigger stud. Uh, now we got something different. Look at this. We got a little screw. Um, don't get your thong underwear all up in a wad because it looks different. Because it's still going to work. We just going to screw this on like so. Yeah, let's, uh, let's fashion it up correctly and I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Hi. This is called a number two slotted screwdriver. If you got some screwing to do, this is what you need. Properly tightened. enough subscribers um, these videos they're a little time-consuming to make and they get on my wife's nerves but I really enjoy making them and if you guys find them helpful or funny in any kind of way man please help me out tremendously by hitting that subscribe button if I can get over a thousand subscribers it would really help me push to the, where the next level and I can become a real channel um, I mean I got so much videos to show y'all I mean I just really need to get to that point man because cool stuff to get out there. I just gotta get it to you, man. So, hit that button, man. Please! I can do it. Please!